hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we have again new project where we have the biscuit packages moving on conveyor belt and our goal is to create a counter so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel also if you click on the join button there is a special membership for students only your membership and your subscription really help us to create more and more unique content on this channel so friends please please subscribe our channel and become our members thank you so much so friends as i mentioned today we will create a biscuit packages counter the custom object detection and tracking so for that i have created a new repository i will mention the link simply copy paste the link inside a web browser then go to the code click on download zip it will download our zip format repository so as you can see we are downloading our repository so we downloaded our repository now let's just minimize the web browser open file manager downloads repository is there right click click on extract all and then just click on extract it will extract our repository as a folder go inside the folder so as i mentioned i have already created the model which will detect the packages the biscuit packages only for this particular video which i will use for this project so vid.txt this is the text file just open it inside that i have mentioned the mega cloud link copy the link open web browser new tab control plus v hit enter it will open the mega cloud link where we have our video file click on download button it will download our video file so friends we downloaded our video file now let's just close the web browser close the text file go to the downloads this is what our video file right click cut it and move the video file inside our folder just paste it now first let's just watch the video file so click on it so friends as you can see this is what our video file where we have the biscuit packages moving on the conveyor belt and our goal is to create a counter for these biscuit packages how many packages do we count or how many packages basically go for go for out simple so our goal is to create a counter so for that what we will do we will use ultralytics by default tracker it is really powerful tracker so we will use the ultralytics by default tracker so simple as i mentioned this is what our video file so let me close the video file now what we will do we will simply open our main code because we have our model ready if you don't know how to create your own custom object detection model I have created several videos where I have explained step by step how you can use the RoboFlow, then how you can use the Google Colab for custom object detection. Watch all those videos, or you can simply click on the playlist, you will get the idea. So, as I mentioned, for this particular project, I have created the model which I have already mentioned inside the repository base.pt. Then we have Ultralytics cv zone and cv2 so we need to install the packages so this is the sony python ide you have to simply download this particular sony python ide go to the tools manage packages search for open cv hyphen python which is our first package open cv hyphen python click on install button then it will install open cv hyphen python then we need ultralytics for yolo hit enter first package click on install button done it will install ultralytics then we need cv zone package first package click on install button done it will install cv zone package installation is really easy with the help of sony python ide open cv hyphen python first package ultralytics second package cv zone third package done that's it we have done with package installation and then this is what the ultralytics by default method by default method which available on their website for object detection and tracking we will use your ultralytics powerful by default tracker so we have here track id from this ids we have track id 
boxes for rectangle class id is basically for the id but but because we have here a custom object detection model so there is no need to mention the class id we have only one class so zero is the id it is as simple as so we will use the for loop for loop track id is basically now this ids the object detection track id for each biscuit package we have unique track id boxes for drawing the rectangle on detected object and the class id as i mentioned only one object so we have zero is the by default class id done and the name name which will we use from our model so model is equal to names is equal to model dot names it will get the class name which is the biscuit which i have trained simple so now what we will do we will start the code but because as you can see i have mentioned here a zero so it will stop the while loop we want to skip the frame manually so let's just run the code we install all the packages we have our model we have we have our video file also so as you can see friends uh, this is the this is what i have trained as you can see the package as i mentioned you can simply mention here a biscuit package this is the class name i have just trained as a package that's it so we are detecting the object we have our model there is a rectangle and all other things are done now friends what i will do instead of name or let's just say i will also again mention here Use on put text rec method. Just copy as it is, and we will mention here a track ID. Track ID, track ID, track ID from this track ID, and we will put the track ID on rectangle bottom left corner. So rectangle bottom left corner is basically x1 and y2. So x1 and y2. Now you will see. there will be track id on detected object bottom left corner the rectangle so here it is as you can see this is the unique id for this package we have one is the unique id and it is continuously there it is continuously there because we are tracking the object with the help of ultra ltics we are tracking each biscuit packages each biscuit package we are tracking using ultra ltics by default tracker as you can see for this package we have 8 for this package we have 10 simple so we detected object we have our own model we we use here ultra ltics tracker so we have unique id for each object so object detection and tracking done now the main part which is the counter so for counting we will use single line method single line method we will draw the horizontal line like from here to here so because we have here cv2 dot event mouse move function this is the function which we will get the x y coordinate inside shell so let's just say if i want to draw the line over here here so just move your mouse cursor on the frame here this is the start point and then this is the end point so if i go over here inside shell we have coordinate which is the 0 2 71 so 0 is basically the x and 2 71 is basically the y of start line the start line in the sense the line start point so 0 and 271 so what we will do we will simply let just say here i will mention line y is equal to 271 line y is equal to 271 or you can mention 270 so but let just mention 271 you can cross check you can cross check as you can see right now if i go here it it is 250 so as i mentioned because we can't say that this is perfectly here or here i just want to draw the line here so if i go over here like here what is the coordinate the coordinate is 0 2 5 6 so let's just say 2 5 6 no worry 2 5 6 simple so this is what my line start point y coordinate also the end point y coordinate so 
start point y coordinate and end point y coordinate always be same for counting so if i want to draw the line over here so i have mentioned the cv2 dot line method just uncomment it we will use zero start point x coordinate zero and the line y so line y is basically 256 and then this is what my start point x y coordinate and this is what my end point x y coordinate so here instead of mentioning the x coordinate manually because the x coordinate of the end point line is basically the width and height of the frame width and height of the frame so i have mentioned here frame dot shape so if i print here it just say print frame dot shape save the code run the code now it will show what is the width and height of the frame so because we mention here resize method uh, resize method so width is 1020 and height is 6, 600 so frame dot shape is as you can see the 600 is the height and width is 1020 so when i want to draw the line horizontally i need to mention the width so width is basically the first coordinate because this is the zero index value zero this is the one and this is the two so if i want to mention the width of the frame so 1020 is the one so for that i have mentioned here for c2 dot line i have mentioned frame dot shape one is basically the width this is the zero height and this is the width because we want to draw the horizontal line for horizontal line the x coordinate of the end point is basically width of the frame so width is 1020 using frame dot shape the index value is the 1 0 1 and 2 simple for that i have mentioned here frame dot shape 1 and the line y coordinate will be same and then the color is the blue because i want to draw the blue color line and the thickness is 2 now if i run the code there will be a blue color line on the frame as you can see this is the blue color line this is the blue color line so friends concept is what when we have our detected object center point touch the line then we will create a counter for that we need center point detected object center point so center point is basically cx and cy so cx is basically x1 plus x2 divided by 2 cy is basically y1 plus y2 divided by 2 this is how we will get the object center point so if we want to show the center point cv2 dot circle method cv2 dot circle we will draw the circle on the frame and then we will mention cx and cy then the radius value 4 and let's just say the color color of the circle we will mention let's just say pink 2550255 and then the minus 1 so now there will be a center point for each object so as you can see the pink color center point so when the center point touch the line we will increase the counter so for that what we will do we have now we have now here track id so we will save the track id and the current position inside the dictionary so we created here a dictionary which is the hist so inside this hist we will save the track id and the current position so after cvzone put text rec method we will mention hist which is the dictionary inside that we will mention the track id is equal to our cx and cy cx and cy which is the center point of object so now inside the history we have the track id and their center point so now with the help of this hist we will get the previous center point so for that we will mention here a condition after name we will say if the track id if the track id in if the track id in hist means our dictionary previous cx and previous previous cx and previous cy 
previous cx and previous cy is equal to his and inside that we will mention track id track id now we have previous cx and previous cy so we will simply create our condition so if the previous cy if previous cy if it is less than our line y if the previous cy because the horizontal counter so for horizontal counter we, we we will use the previous cy if the counter or if the if just say the line is vertical then we will use previous cx but the line is horizontal and we have the line y so we will use the previous cy line y so previous cy less than line y and if it is less than is equal to the current cy if it is less than is equal to current cy then we will increase the counter out count plus is equal to 1 we will increase the counter i have mentioned the counter over here out count 0 when we match our condition we will increase the counter then with the help of series on put text rec method we will put our counter on the frame now when the object center point touch the line the counter will be increased right now there is a zero so watch as you can see one this is the two this one is three simple so for our knowing purpose what we will do we will simply change the color when the object center point touch the line so for that we will use all this draw method cut it after where we have name so after name we will mention all this method and only we will use the cv2 dot rectangle method just copy it and where we match our condition where we increase the counter after that we will change the object color the object rectangle color so let's just say we will mention red color red so red is basically 0 0 2 5 5 save the code and run the code so right now i am skipping the manual frame as you can see detected object red color again object cross the line there is a again green color when object touch the line red color counter is increased simple so now we will start our while loop so for starting while loop here we will mention one save the code run the code So as you can see we are counting custom object we are counting the biscuit packages which moving on conveyor belt i hope you will learn something from this video i have mentioned the full code along with the model we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye